Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Posted. All right. Sorry about that interruption. As you can read over on the, uh, actually, that'd be easier to point like that. Way over there on the overlay stuff. Uh, I blue screened and then took a, it took a while to reboot like it do. Not like it always did. It used to boot nice and fast, but then maybe a month, month and a half ago, something happened and boot takes forever now. Anyway, uh, Let's try this again. This time I'll remember to close the Steam client because I'm pretty sure that's part of the problem. Also, hello, Steve. Excuse me. Honored guests, welcome to my collection of personal memorabilia. Alas, I can't be there to escort you through the private gallery, but here's a list of some of my favorite treasures. I hope you enjoy these rare and remarkable items as much as I do. Shan Yun. Guitar on which To the Heartless was composed. Microphone of engraved gold used in the Samara sessions. Audiograph from first pressing of Release Thy Golden Locks Gloriana. Violin and Bow of Redmore Spruce, gift from Duke Luca Abel. Metronome of Ebony and Shindiri Silver. Miniature Piano of Mahogany and Blood Ox Horn, gift from the Tivian Songbird Society. Mm. <clears throat> Well, at least she can't see me. But I can see her. Why do all of the mounted ape heads wear collars? 
like shirt colors. <laughs> Hold on, someone opened the door, so now I'm hiding. And part of the room beyond is not loading. Going to make it more thematic. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, this is definitely broken. There we go. Oops. I don't recognize you. Okay, hold on a sec. I'm Oh you can't just like close the door so I'm like I can see her. I, I could, but <laughs> But she would still know I was there. <laughs> No, I'm guessing you're not playing as Corvo or anyone with the big creepy mask. No. Because <laughs> what if you were? <laughs> Just imagine <laughs> you're like the janitor <laughs> in some building. <laughs> and someone in that mask just like shows up. Like you, you turn around, someone in that mask is just like right there and they just... You both stand there awkwardly for a couple of seconds. They reach out and start closing doors and just go... <laughs> I got spooted again. Not by security, thankfully, but okay, and those saucers just fell for no discernible reason. Dreaming, take these chances and place them in the backs down to me. Why, at the time, lights down, you up and I. Bear, 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 bear. And I've gone and put Dave Matthews in my head. This is my own fault. Sir, I'm just making sure my tracks are covered. Ooh. Okay.
<laughs> Marnie's secret powders for bringing on frightful illusions, blurred vision, and the like. I think I remember these from the previous game. Looks like a dumb waiter. That guy would see me immediately if I exited that way. New bone charm. Enemies miss with fired projectiles more often. That's powering. Uh, let's find out. I just had a really terrible idea. And I want to try... Oh, this isn't a furnace that I can open, dang it. Oh well. I wanted to throw the whale oil tank into the furnace and <laughs> inactivate it. <laughs> So there's two. 
two guys over there. Oh, interesting. It let's me see all the places that, uh, that that's connected to. Why did they suddenly, uh, become tipped off? I don't understand. Well, let's check out the third. <coughs> Stand up in the dumb waiter, and it's like. I, I imagine that must look amusing from the outside. Someone around who spotted me momentarily. It seems. But where? What what? It's just that I, uh, perhaps they're noticing that I removed the whale oil tank. The void. I've never seen it, but I heard enough from Dowd to know it's not a place you forget.
Nice. A padded piano room. It's a useful thing for a composer to have. I've got to get back to Dunwall. I feel so bad. I haven't seen the kids in two years. Ah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You're also dad, apparently. Mind free. That kiss. seen a safe like that before but I've cracked plenty this shouldn't be too hard hmm. I hear the I must remember to change the aria that unlocks my safe perhaps I'll grab Gloriana's card from the gallery and calibrate the safe to it ah, it doesn't matter what song I choose as long as it's different I can't keep Among the Ox Rush Blooms as the key, not now that Eolina knows the secret to my musical lock. I adore her, but I'm no fool. A man must protect his treasures. My darling Eolina believes the lock requires live singing to open, and I didn't disabuse her of the notion. But it's untrue, an audiograph of the correct aria will suffice as well. As long as the lock recognizes the pure tones of my voice, it will open. The safe company insists it's dangerous to have the audiographs as a reserve measure. Uh, but what else could I do? I'll never forget the time I had a throat infection. The stubborn lock didn't recognize my sad croaks and squawks as me. It refused to open, and I couldn't wear my jewels that night. No, no, better a little risk than to perform unadorned. This song everywhere. It's popular. Excuse me for a moment. I need to go record my life. I shall return. Oh, hey, Daddy.
type to read. Okay. Perfected by death, echoing into the pristine silence of eternal nothingness. What would that sound like? If only I could capture that perfection here now, in more than small sips of borrowed death. Where's Iolina? She should be here by now. A strapping young laddie named Tommy Carew rose from the mire and muck. He only won talent, but it was a beaut. Tom knew. <laughs> Where was I? The meadow grass blent low and sweet beneath a marching soldier feet. The bugle called the glen strong and brave. Sean Young. Normally I'd have to pay a fortune to hear him sing, but that's not why I'm here. Bone charms ready, etc. Bone charm preparation has achieved completion. What? Meow. <laughs> I guess you didn't think it was very funny. This sonorous dish will soothe your throat and widen your vocal range. First, slice eight young, freshly cut tongues lengthwise and boil them in a large pot of clear water. When a foam appears, drain the tongues and fill the pot again with cold water. Here, add your aromatics and their thigh bones and simmer for two hours. Remove the tongues and chill them until they are quite cold. Discard the bones from the pot and strain the liquid. The fats will rise and congeal as it cools. Set aside. Pare the skin from the tongues with a sharp knife until you have nothing but the tender meat. Slice finely. Prepare your aspic with whichever home remedy you use. Make sure the fats have been clarified with eggshell. The aspic must be perfectly clear and removed of all impurities. Arrange the cut tongues in a lined terrine and pour over with warm aspic. When set, remove and unwrap your delicacy. Slice with a serrated knife and serve cold. It must be savored, preferably with a mother-of-pearl caviar spoon, or else the properties are lost. The sweetness of their songs will be yours. What does Sean Young want from the Void? He's got everything already. 